Well, it is no secret Americans are concerned about money lately with worries over the economy, but that's not keeping us from helping those in need. CBS2 charity contributor and philanthropic advisor Lisa Dietlin is here with the positive news on America's generosity. First of all, thanks so much for coming in. I really appreciate it. Glad to be here. So I understand we set a record. We did set a record in 2007. We just released the numbers and more than $300 billion was given away by Americans. That's up 4% from the previous year. So we crossed that $300 billion threshold without a natural disaster. Nice to hit a milestone, and you say it's an individual effort. It is. Most of the time, people I talk to think it's corporations and foundations, but it's really individuals. They gave away 75% of that $306 billion that was given away last year. And when you add in bequests, that number pops, Mike, to 82%. Think of it this way, $1,000 for every man, woman, and child in this country. And it's about 2% of um, gross income, you know, for household income. And another way to think of it is 51% of those households with income over 100000 gave, but that means 49% of the money came from households with income under $100,000. Every strata of America's society is generous. That's pretty amazing. Now, where's all the money going? Well, <laughs> there's 1.5 million nonprofit organizations, so it goes to a lot of places. But um, religion is the first one. Religion gets the lion's share, about 34% last year. They crossed the $100 billion line for the first time. And people ask me, why religion? And I say, well, because they ask every single week. If you go to the house <laughs> of worship, I'm Catholic, and they ask every single week. Um, the second is educational institutions. They get about 14%. So you think about here, you know, Northwestern University, University of Chicago, UIC, those, all those institutions are asking. And the third sector is social services. What's really interesting about these numbers this year is that the international sector had the highest increase, the largest percentage increase of donations. And a lot of young people are giving to that area. Well, it's been a very tough economy, as we all know. How is that affecting giving? It, it doesn't. It, it, surprisingly, Mike, it really doesn't. About, <clears throat> excuse me, about 1% decrease is what we see during recession years. But on non-recession years, there's a 35 to 4% increase. So it really doesn't affect it. And you also have to realize that even in tough economic times, there are industries doing exceedingly well. Think about pizza companies and grocery mm -hmm. stores and fitness stores and the Botex and LASIK and all those different companies, the green companies, the recycling companies. All of those companies are doing very well. One thing I wanted to ask you about, I'd seen in the past that studies show that people that go to church actually give more. Was that still borne out? Yes, it was. People that do go to church tend to be more philanthropic um, because of the tithing that some of them do in their houses of worship or just that generous spirit that they're taught. They see that there's need. It's talked about in their houses of worship. All right. Well, Lisa, thanks so much for coming in. We really do appreciate it. Lisa Dietlin breaking down the numbers for us today. For more on America's giving or to get Lisa's top five tips for giving, head to CBS2Chicago.com and click on Morning News.